Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Nikki LaRose and for today's video, I want to share some amazing drugstore lip liners that I think are so worth trying. So as you can see, I don't have any lip products on. I have a little bit of foundation on my lips to start. And the reason for that is because I'm gonna be trying on these lip liners that I'll be showing you so you can really see what the color is going to look like. And to start, and in no particular order, like none of these are, are ranked highest to lowest. I love them all. I've been using most of these for a really long time. And the one that actually sparks the most memories for me is the LA Girl Perfect Precision Lip Liners. These I've used for so, so long. Like they've been around for a really long time. If you don't know, LA Girl Cosmetics is a very inexpensive like drugstore makeup brand. They're kind of famous for their um, color correctors. They have like concealers that are color correcting. So they have like an orange and a green and I've used them in my kit for years. They're a great formula, but they also have incredible lip liners and these are only $4 each, four bucks. And you get a big amount too. Like it's a full size pencil. It's not like a small short one for four bucks. It's, you get a lot of product. So not only is it super duper cheap, like that's like unheard of cheap for a lip liner. It's a great formula. Like I love these formulas. And the two colors that I love the most are Cafe, which is like a true cool tone nude. So this is gonna go good with like any nude lipsticks, um, even like peachy lipsticks, pink lipsticks. Like you can do so many good combos with this nude lip liner. And the other shade is Sugar and Spice. And this one has a little bit more of a mauve undertone to it. It's so pretty, it goes so well with like a pink lipstick, a mauve lipstick, a light berry. It's just such a good lip liner. So let me actually show you guys both these lip liners right now. So first I'm gonna apply the shade Cafe. And I'm gonna apply Cafe on one side and Sugar and Spice on the other side. But what I love about these is they're so creamy, like they glide on so easy and so smooth. And they have a really good staying power. Like they'll stay on a long time. I just love how they glide on. Like I said, they're so smooth. Okay, so that is Cafe. And then I'm gonna do Sugar and Spice on this side. So this side to me, the sugar and spice, to me, like this is like a perfect bridal lip liner. You know, it's like that not too pink. It's still like a more of a neutral, has a little hint of mauve to it. Goes good with like a traditional bridal lipstick. And then this side is good for like when you're doing like a true nude lipstick or more of like a natural, like defined lip shape. I love this color for that, but those are Sugar and Spice and Cafe from LA Girl, and they're $4. Another super cheap, great find. This one's from ColourPop, and ColourPop, it's not necessarily a drugstore brand, but anyone who knows ColourPop, like they have very, very inexpensive cosmetics. They're sold online. Now Ulta actually carries them in store and online as well. So the ColourPop lip pencils are only seven bucks. So this is in the shade BFF. So BFF is another great nude lip liner. So again, this formula is really creamy as well. And to me, like that's how I judge an inexpensive lip liner. If it goes on smooth and it doesn't feel chalky or dry, and it doesn't skip or tug on your lips, that means it's a, to me, that means it's a good drugstore lip liner. So this one goes on just smooth and creamy. And I'm just gonna do this one all over. Another reason why I like this one is because it's a neutral nude. It doesn't have too much orange, it's not too pink. It's right in the middle. It's like a nice true neutral nude lip liner. So that is BFF from ColourPop, and it's only seven bucks. 
gonna take this guy off. So moving on to another one of my favorites, I've used NYX lip pencils for so long, like years and years and years. My only complaint about these, if I had to have a complaint, is that they're not like, you don't get like a ton of product. Like the LA Girl Cosmetics one, you get like a huge amount for only four bucks. These are the same price, they're about four or five dollars depending on like where you buy them. I believe they're four dollars at Walmart and Ulta. So depending where you buy them, they could go up a dollar or two. Four or five bucks, it's so, so inexpensive. And the formula is great. And with these, these will last me all day. Like I'll put this on I'll, I'll, either on myself. Typically I have a couple in my kit and they will last so well throughout the day. They don't smudge, they don't run. They feel very comfortable. They don't feel dry or heavy on your lips. They go on smooth, which I'm about to show you. But more importantly, like I said, they last a really long time. So they're great for like an all day wear. So this is in the shade natural and it is just a perfect natural shade. I love this color. So I'm gonna apply this one on this side and this color in particular, this shade goes perfect with Pillow Talk Lipstick from Charlotte Tilbury. So if you like lipsticks like that tone, like that kind of um, like almost like a neutral mauvey pink, you'll love this lip liner because it goes so well. So that's natural. And again, like that's a great bridal lip liner color. That, that would be perfect for any bridal lip. And then my other favorite from NYX, this one I've used in multiple tutorials. I use it all the time on Instagram. I have used this shade for years and it's the shade Nude Truffle. It's such a good cool tone nude lip liner. Reminds me a little bit of Strip Down from MAC. Yeah, it's such a good color. And like I said, these, not only are they a great formula, they go on easy, they glide on, they're not super dry, but they last so well on your lips. So New Truffle and Natural from NYX. And just to point out, in case you guys have not noticed yet, all of these lip liners have a common theme. They're more of like a nude lip liner or a natural tone lip liner or more of like a mauve natural tone. So I don't have anything that's like super red or super dark or like a berry tone or like a bright tone. I'll do a video for those later on, but these are specifically more of like the neutral and more nude lip liners that you could wear like every day. Next up is a lip liner that I specifically went out and purchased for my drugstore makeup tutorial a little while back and I've used it ever since and I love this formula. It's such a great, very, very long lasting formula. It's creamy, it's super pigmented, like very rich in pigment and it goes on super smooth. It's the L'Oreal Paris Color Riche Matte Lip Liner. And this is in the shade 112 Matte Mastermind, like Mastermind. Like this formula literally glides on your lips like butter. It's so smooth. But then once it's applied, it will dry down. And then once it's dried down, it will last for hours and hours and hours. It's such a good long wearing formula. And this one is roughly $8, like depending on where you purchase it. I think it's $9 at Ulta. It's eight roughly at Walmart. So, but still such a good deal, super inexpensive and a really great formula. So I highly recommend this one. Next up are two favorite colors that I have from Milani Cosmetics. They're the color statement lip liners in the shade 09 Spice and 04 All Natural. And they're just what they say. Like this is a really beautiful natural tone. And then this one is more of like, has a little more orange to it, like a little more warmth. So it's it kind of reminds me of Spice Lip Liner from MAC. I think it's like a really good dupe for that. These are $4.99, such a good deal. And let me show you what they look like. Okay, so that is Spice from Milani. And then I'm gonna put All Natural on this side. And all natural really is 
the perfect natural tone lip liner. It looks just like my lips. In fact, it, it blends perfectly into them. So if you're going for like a really, really like no makeup makeup look, this is a great color for that. And they're five bucks. They're so cheap. So Spice All Natural from Milani. Okay, last but not least is one of my all time favorite inexpensive lip liners. And they're not necessarily drugstore. Like you can't go to like a CVS or a Walgreens and pick this up, but it's from the brand Morphe Cosmetics. And anyone who knows Morphe, it's it's kind of like ColourPop where it's like a very inexpensive brand. They're sold online. They have a store in LA. So if you're in the LA area, you can actually go to a Morphe store and pick out these colors. But Ulta actually just started carrying Morphe like not that long ago. I feel like in the last couple of years, they started carrying Morphe which has made it so much more available for like the public and not just people that are local to LA. But long story short, I have loved Morphe since I started my makeup career. And when I first started doing makeup, they were some of the only lip liners that I could truthfully afford to put in my kit and to use on myself. They're super inexpensive. When I was first using them, they were only three bucks. Then they went up to four and now they're five bucks, which who cares? $5 for a good formula lip liner is nothing. It's so inexpensive. It's crazy. And the formula has consistently gotten better in my opinion. Like I've used these lip liners, like I said, for at this point, a long time, at least 10 years, um, maybe longer, maybe longer. I lost track of time. I don't know. I've been using it for a really long time is all I can say. And back when I was young, but anyway, they've always had great neutrals too. And one of my favorites of all time is the shade sweet tea from Morphe. And sweet tea, anytime I'm doing like a new lip on myself and I can't figure out what lip liner to do or to use with like a nude lipstick, I know that sweet tea will look bomb no matter what. Like I will grab sweet tea and it never fails me. It's $5, so well spent. And the formula, again, there was a good theme with all these lip liners I chose for you guys. All of these lip liners go on super smooth. They're not dry, they're not chalky, and they last a really long time, not like, an outstanding amount of time. Like this will stay on your lips, not through like rain or shine, but it will stay on a really long time. So just all in all, they're a phenomenal formula. So this is Sweet Tea. This is my first love for Morphe and like will forever be my love. If they get rid of this lip liner, I will cry because it's so, so good. The other one that is definitely worth mentioning is another beautiful color and it's very neutral is Coffee and Kissy. So I'm gonna apply Sweet Tea on this side. And again, just to give you guys a color reference, this is also similar to Strip Down from MAC at a fraction of the cost. Okay, so that is Sweet Tea. Looks good with cool tone nudes, peachy tone nudes, pink tone nudes, and it looks phenomenal. It's just a great staple lip liner. So now Coffee and Kissy is gonna go on the side. I should probably sharpen this, hold on. Okay, so Coffee and Kissy. So this color, as you can see, it definitely has more warmth to it. It's got a little more orange undertone to it. And so this one especially will go so beautifully with any peachy, more peach undertone lipsticks or a peachy nude, a true peach, a peachy brown, an earth tone. Any earth tones will look beautiful with this lip liner. Like I said, the formula is so smooth. It's so creamy. It's very, very long wearing and it's five bucks. So if you're in LA, go to the Morphe store, check it out. They have a beautiful store, beautiful location. If you're near an Ulta, stop in and try one of these lip liners. I guarantee you, you will not be disappointed. So that wraps up this video. This was so much fun to film. I loved sharing some of my favorite like tried and true drugstore lip liners. I highly suggest you give these a shot. They're definitely worth trying and they're great dupes or like substitutes for more higher end, more expensive lip liners. They honestly perform just as well. If they didn't, I would not have put them in this list. If you guys like these colors, let me know. They're some of my favorite shades. I will definitely continue to show more shades from the drugstore in reds and deeper tones and burgundies and all those things and like fun colors as well. So if you like this video, give it a big thumbs up. Let me know in the comments if you have any questions about these lip liners. You can follow me on Instagram. I'm at Makeup by Nicola Rose as well as TikTok. Don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel so you don't miss any of my future videos and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.